And both leaders today joined efforts to contribute to the National Labor Day project, which was also aimed at improving inclusivity for the elderly and disabled. Here's more. For years, possibly decades, the most vulnerable among us, including the elderly and the disabled, were often overlooked in conversations about national progress. Fortunately, the 21st century has seen Jamaica making significant strides in this regard. Building on this momentum, Jamaica's National Project for Labor Day 2024 saw Prime Minister Andrew Holness and opposition leader Mark Golding join efforts at the Institute of Jamaica to construct a ramp, facilitating easier access to this culturally rich site. Holness emphasizes the importance of such initiatives in a developing country. It is not only a physical exercise when the government speaks about access for our vulnerable and access for persons with disabilities and access for our elderly. When we talk about access, we mean giving them the means by which they are able to access a better life. This, he says, include improvements in different pension programs. He admits, however, that much still needs to be done. Our government needs to do more in ensuring that all our people, but particularly our poor, our elderly, and our vulnerable persons and persons with disabilities have the ability to access a better quality of life. Golding shares a similar sentiments, proposing a whole year dedicated to ramping up access for the vulnerable. A lot of work to be done to transform the buildings and structures of Jamaica and other institutions um, to, to from where we are and where we're coming from to one which embraces the fundamental principle of accessibility for all. And I think that if we have a, a period of time dedicated to that, which we have monitoring and evaluation for, we can see real progress. Natalia Clark, CVM News.